Twickenham might be famous for a certain sport and indeed it's played just up the road. But right here it's famous for the St Mary's University College and more importantly this is home to the Centre for Irish Studies and this is where students come to study a master's degree in Irish Studies where they can take on loads of different modules including new perspectives on Irish history and modern Irish literature. Welcome to the show. You join us at the World Irish Dancing Championships 2014. It's expected that 20,000 people through the week will be coming through the revolving doors of the Hilton Metropole Hotel here in London. This is a celebration of Irish culture at its best. Irish dancing connects people from all around the world and throughout all age groups. And let's now take a look at some of the dancing. Ambassador Dan Mulhall is here leading the parade up Piccadilly. Another wonderful day, I'm sure, to be ambassador in London. It's fantastic. Uh, it's a great uh, day for the Irish here in London. Marvellous occasion. People can walk the streets in comfort and then they can watch the concert and enjoy an afternoon of music and crack in uh, Trafalgar Square in lovely um, spring sunshine. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for multitasking for us, Ambassador. Welcome to Irish TV and welcome to the Medeski Stadium in Reading. We're here for London Irish's biggest day in their calendar. It's their St. Patrick's party. The pitch might look empty behind me, but it's not going to stay empty for long as the exiles come out to take on the Newcastle Falcons in the Premiership. The fans aren't here yet. They're outside in the car park. They're not parking their cars. They're actually taking part in a big party. That's right. Join us here for more on Irish TV from the London Irish St. Patrick's party. Well, that's it from the Kerry GAA Gala Dinner here at the Grange St Paul's Hotel in London. It's been a great night. Long may it continue, I'm sure. Lots of people digging deep for this great cause, but also having some fun while doing it. Well, that's it from the Centre for Irish Studies here at St Mary's University College in Twickenham. Join us again next week on Irish TV when we'll be out and about in the UK. Well, as the parade makes its way down Piccadilly and around the iconic Eros statue of Piccadilly Circus and down towards Trafalgar Square, stay with us here for more from the St. Patrick's Day Festival in London.